Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are getting ready to cook some spaghetti meatballs. Well, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, so we have our Publix garlic toast. That's the Publix garlic Texas toast. Oh yeah. I like the Publix Texas toast. It's really good. Nice and thick, and you ain't got to pray an arm and a leg for it, and it was on sale. So y'all know how that go. Uh, and also, I have two boxes of the um, Texas toast. My girls love garlic bread. I love garlic bread too. And I have the spaghetti, Publix brand spaghetti. That's what we got, the regular spaghetti noodles. And I have my Newman's own tomato and basil. This is on sale at Publix, two for four. I like Newman brand. Newman brand's pretty decent. All right, and oh, yeah, I wanted to show y'all. So the Newman brand, this particular one has, says no sugar added. Most of the time they do say the no sugar added, but that's okay, because y'all already know. A sister gonna add sugar to her tomato sauce anyway. You know how we do. All right, and I have some Corando's mozzarella meatballs. Italian style meatballs. Ooh, blended with mozzarella cheese and herbs. Oh my God. Y'all see it say right there. I'm not making it up. Blend it with mozzarella cheese and herbs. Look at that. Look at that meatball. Look at the, look at the mozzarella and the meatballs. Y'all see the mozzarella. Y'all see that. Y'all, let me point it. Y'all see the mozzarella. Y'all see the little mozzarella balls in there. The little white specks. That's the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Okay, I have two packs of those because these are, you know, pretty big meatballs. Of course, they'll shrink a little bit, but I don't like overcooking my meatballs because they, you know, they get all shrink up. Uh-uh. I want my stuff that I pay for. So, yes, guys, nice little quick little cute meal. Any day, any time of the day, you can do it Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever day you want it. Uh, but, yeah, that's what we're cooking today. Spaghetti and le meatballs. Yes. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's get these meatballs together. I got my water over there boiling for my noodles. I'm going to go ahead. I've got my pan. My, uh, my pan. I've got my pan already laid out with the aluminum foil over it gonna spread it with a little oil so my meatballs ain't trying to stick anyway get these meatballs open and i'm excited i've gotten these meatballs before but i've never gotten the ones i've got the regular ones i, I think i might have cooked them on the channel i don't know but i've never gotten the ones with the mozzarella with the mozzarella shiz so i'm excited all right, now little meatballs. Come on out now. Come on out, little meatballs. Mmm, they all nicely seasoned up with herbs and stuff. I ain't got to season them. But y'all already know. I'm going to see. I'm going to taste them and see. But the other ones that I got without the mozzarella, and I didn't have to season those. So I'm sure I probably won't have to season these either. Because they already seasoned. They got herbs and everything in it. They are already seasoned. See, you ain't even got a season of meatballs. Ain't even got a season of meatballs. Come on out of here, meatball. All right, okay, that's cute. Mm -hmm, Cause we know they're gonna shrink a little bit. Let me get this second pack open. Yeah, I'm just gonna pan these. I got my oven already preheated to 350. That's it, you don't need no high heat. I don't need no high heat to cook these meatballs now. So. Y'all see I'm just panning them up. I'm trying to step out of my light so y'all can see. Got four more to get on here. Alright, so we're going to have to make another row here. Get these all nicely panned up. Oh, they look so cute. I like how the meatballs are already shaped for me. Ain't got to get my hands all sloppy. I mean, you know what? The thing about it is... When I paid for these, Publix had these meatballs on sale. But I want to get more free. And they were uh, five bucks. I mean, if you think about it, I got two packs of meatballs for five bucks. If I get a pack of ground beef and make meatballs, it's going to be about eight, nine, ten dollars. So, you know, actually, you know, I came out better getting the meatballs on sale. All right, I got one more meatball here. Let me see where I'm going to squeeze this in at. Because it's, it's messing up my little, you know, my little rhythm here. I got my little rolls of three. So, you know me being so OCD. So, ugh, this is going to be annoying. Messing up my little. Try, let me just stick this over here. 
ain't got no choice. Just stick it over here. It'll be all right. Okay. All right, let me get my hands washed. Let me make sure y'all can see those lit meatballs. Y'all see them. Wash my hands real quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. Preheated 350. Probably only need to be in there about 10, 15 minutes. I mean, these little chunky little meatballs, but like I said, I don't want them to shrink either. They gonna shrink enough. So don't overcook your meatballs. They'll shrink even more. So, all right, I'm gonna put them in there for about 10, about 10 minutes to see how they do. If they need five more minutes, you know, I'll put them in there five more minutes, leave them in there five more minutes. So let me go ahead and um, get the meatballs in the oven. I'll be back. All right, let's move on to our garlic bread. We got our meatballs in the oven. Time to get our garlic bread all nicely panned up. And this Papa's garlic bread is really good. Texas toast is really good. And you get eight slices too. Nice thick slices. They like the little, the little cute, cute ones. They're cute. All right. Eight slices. Got my two pans, one for each box. on there and I like the fact that um Publix bread has the garlic on both sides I mean it's just gonna be juicy garlicly garlic garlicly garlicly I know that ain't a word but don't worry about that uh nice and garlicky and toasty on both sides mm, I love that smell of the garlic all right so we got one panned up already like I said, me and the girls, we love garlic bread. And for it to be the public brand, it's pretty good. I'm going to pan this one up the same way. Duh. Mm, mm, mm. Got our noodles boiling back there. Noodles boiling back there like they crazy. But they boiling. I got to go stir them up in a minute. How we got that now? Okay, one, we got these two like that. Okay, like that, and squeeze this last one in here. Come on, y'all. Okay, now it's the same pan. Okay, there it is. Ooh, don't that garlic bread look good? I don't need to add no parsley. Y'all see, it's got enough greenery. Look delicious. All right, y'all see I got it all nicely panned up. Time to go in the oven with the meatballs. I'm putting everything in there, y'all. If you can put everything in there once to cook, hey, that's how I do it. So I got my meatballs in there, and um, the meatballs are on the top rack. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this garlic bread in side by side like it is right there in that bottom rack, boo. Garlic bread cooking while your meatballs cooking. <laughs> Let's go, we ain't got all day. All right, y'all. Just wanted to come and show y'all real quick. Just do a little quick little insert here of how I uh, prepare the sauce. I got my whole jar of sauce in there. And I've got my sugar ready because y'all saw it said no sugar added. Anyway, so we add sugar. Even if it says sugar added, I was still going to add my sugar. So I just kind of sprinkle a little bit of sugar in my sauce. Just a little bit. I got the heat on low. I'm, I'm thinking that's maybe about four, you know, for those who need measurements, um, I'd say about four tablespoons of sugar. Four tablespoons of less sugar. For those who like to have measurements, and I've got my sauce on a low heat, you know, just to get it nice and, you know, simmer a little bit. Just a little light boil to it. A little simmer, as they say. Smells really good. I did get some Parmesan cheese to sprinkle across the spaghetti. You know, once we fix our plate, put that Parmesan cheese on there. Oh, yes. Let me see how it tastes. Okay, that's good. That tastes real good. And that tomato basil, that sauce, tomato sauce is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Tastes good. I'm not going to add anything else to it. It tastes so good. Two tablespoons of sugar is about what I put in there. 
that tastes amazing that's it for the sauce so um our meatballs should be done soon once those meatballs get done i'll come back and show y'all i'm gonna go ahead and add the meatballs to the sauce quick and easy because we ain't got all day all right we've got our meatballs out the oven let's go ahead and get those meatballs in our sauce all right let me get my sauce stirred up it's been waiting on the meatballs waiting on the meatballs i'm just gonna go ahead and add my meatballs to the sauce and mix them up a little bit you know get the sauce on the meatballs let me show y'all the meatballs they look so good let me show y'all the meatballs before i put them in the sauce Ooh, ooh! look at those meatballs oh y'all go ahead and have one oh hey, look at them y'all see that cheese in the meatball come on now Ooh, wee. yes y'all know i got to give y'all what y'all want get the people what they want all right let's get our meatballs in the sauce oh yeah that's gonna be good oh y'all see it let's see if i can give y'all get y'all zoomed in there oh yeah get the meatballs in the sauce oh the meatballs look so good i was getting ready to eat one of the meatballs y'all i said nah i'm gonna wait for the sauce and then i eat it <laughs> mm. so good and the meatballs they cook in about 10 minutes Yep, they were done in about 10 minutes. I said, okay, meatballs. Because they know. I ain't got all day. And that's these uh, Italian meatballs too, y'all. Y'all know they good. Italian meatballs. Came from Italy. <laughs> y'all know. Come from Italy, you know it's good. They say Italian, so I'm guessing that means they came from Italy, y'all. I don't know, but could be made somebody's kitchen right here in Florida. I don't know, but they say they're Italian, so I'm going off of what they say on the package. Y'all saw said Italian meatballs, so these meatballs better came from Italy. Whatever. That don't mean they came from Italy. I don't know, but I know if it say Italian on it, it'd be good to me. Ooh, wee. Try that sauce, sauce shooting everywhere. Oh, look at the meatballs. Yeah, we're going to let them just sit down in that juice and get all marinated. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let the meatballs. I think I'm going to have to taste one of these meatballs, y'all. I got to see. I got to taste it, you know. Y'all know my greedy but I got to eat and see what's going on. All right, y'all, I'm going to let the uh, meatballs sit in the sauce a little bit. Oh, look at it, y'all. I'm taking y'all in. Y'all got... Good Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. Mm, 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 mm. Well, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm going to let the meatballs sit in the sauce for a few minutes, you know, so they can marinate and suck, uh, soak in all the juices. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to leave y'all right there. So, all right, you know what? Let me get the pasta. I got the pasta already ready. Let me move this out of the way. The pasta's already done. I can go ahead and do my outro while y'all sitting there drooling over my meatballs. Y'all so greedy. God, God, y'all so greedy just like me. God. Let's go ahead and do the grand finale on the meatballs. They in that nice sauce. Y'all know I'm going to do the grand finale for y'all. Going to get parsley up in there. Yeah, child. Ooh, get the pot. Ooh, y'all see, I should. Ooh, I showed that with that. Possibly showed. I. Mm, I know y'all want some. Let me bring y'all out. I'm gonna go ahead and do my outro. Y'all see the meatballs? Y'all see the garlic bread? Ooh, I gotta show y'all that garlic bread. They ain't burnt. Don't do that. They ain't burnt. That's how. It's, that's how it's supposed to look. Some good, nice garlic bread. That's how it's supposed to look, y'all. Don't do that. Taking y'all into the garlic bread. Woo, back up. That ain't burnt, baby. That's how that garlic bread supposed to look. With a nice little brown, you know. Come on now, y'all. And then take y'all over here to the pasta. To the la pasta. Child. Come on now. 
Come on now. Ooh, look at it. Everything got parsley. Everything got parsley except for the, the toast. I ain't need it on the uh, toast. The garlic bread did not need it. It's got enough green. All right, let me get y'all at an angle where y'all can see everything. Yep, okay. Y'all see the complete meal? Y'all see, I'm gonna zoom y'all in a little bit. Y'all see the complete meal? All right, let me go ahead and do my outro. Y'all seen me do it, so y'all know I did it. Stop playing. Y'all know I cooked this. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.